we go. Okay, I think cap number 75, semi-final between WFZ and Yumiko. And uh, Remo is by my side here, so let's uh, not waste any more time and go for it. In three, two, one, go. All right, so how how well have you been keeping up with the Chinese Warcraft scene? Ooh, not at all. Yeah, me neither. So I think uh, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I, re uh, I hate replay casts usually, but I'm going to get some insight into the way the top um, Chinese players are playing, which is nice. Apart from TH and Infi, those two never ever play the IFN Cups. I guess they fear they would expose more of their own strategies and stuff than they would be gaining from practicing or uh, participating. Yeah, that might be true. Anyways, it's Yumiko versus Dub FC, two of the big powerhouses in China. Yeah, in 2014, these players were like uh, third and fourth best players in the world, so to speak. Uh, they finished second and fourth at WCA 2014, I think. But what? since no, huh? No, oh, wait. Uh, second, yes. I don't think Dub FC was fourth. Really? Who else? Well, was? Fly was definitely third, I think. Ah, okay, then then uh, TH was fourth, so WC dropped out a little earlier. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about, and since he uh, married, he's getting in shape again. He was in a kind of a slump in the early stages of uh, 2015, but he's getting better, so maybe with our help as well, since we're sending him some replays uh, for practice. But uh, yeah, now he's facing Yumiko, uh, the vice world champion from last year. I don't really know how he is doing. I know that he won the IFN Cup uh, 74, so the episode be before this uh, last week. But apart from that, I haven't seen much of him recently. Yeah, same goes for me, as I said in the beginning. This is a very passive start from Yumi. He gets a level 2 right here, killing the skeleton. Usually the humans try to go for the little green camp. I guess he didn't want to expose his Archmage to being harassed. Because getting the mercenary camp here to get the Shadow Priest to heal is very difficult. So you have to be very careful on Amazonia how much damage your Archmage takes. And WFZ knowing this is immediately going for the AM again. Is he going to get the last hit? Yes he is. A little bit sloppy with the last hit securing there from Yumiko. But also not that easy. And you can see two skeletons always on top of the Archmage. But now he's tucked in the little corner back there. Getting another Water Elemental as well. Oh, and Ghouls, by the way. This is a big deviation. Last year was always Fiends for WFC. Yeah, he built a graveyard. So he was planning to, to go for uh, Fiends. But now the DK is surrounded. Oh boy, this could end horrible. Of course, you don't want to lose a lot of HP. But I think he decides to let it die. Yep, he will be back in 35 seconds. He only has to invest 170 gold, so I think it's definitely worth more than uh, raiding for the regeneration all the time. But that, of course, opens a window for Yumiko to get this expansion up and see just the pure mass of passants here. I think seven... Oh, no. He pulled, like, nine, and now he's cancelling it again. Um, Yumiko has 19 out of 40 supply. No, Yumiko has 35. Uh, I mean, double uh, Z. Yeah, he. So he made a lot of ziggurats early on. Um, he delayed his fiends to get to attack early with ghouls, and you want to deal a lot of damage to the peasants there, especially. But it didn't work at all. I think the ghouls were a little late to the party. If they had arrived right upon the uh, starting of the creep camp, starting of the creeping of the creep camp. It could have done a lot of damage, but it was just like late by, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. And so these ghouls really accomplished nothing. He got one uh, peasant with a coil. He stole one creep and killed one water elemental, but that's not enough, man. He's still level 1 DK. And if he starts going uh, to creep himself, he's going to get harassed over and over, especially considering he's going tier 3. So he's opening himself up for a lot of harassment here. Yeah, and he has no fiends, that means uh, no heavy damage to the towers, to peasants or whatever. He's not building ghouls either. But Yumiko with a great timing for the slaughterhouse. Just in the build, of course, it takes additional damage. Nice surround by WFC. It's not that hard, but still. But um, he gets the slaughterhouse. That delays the upcoming destroyer push even more. Yeah, this is so. really old school under destroyer push. Yeah, with double slaughterhouse here. 
Yeah, was, exactly. It, that, that's it was what supposed to be a, a double sort of house, yeah. I think he still has to go. Oh, he lost so much lumber though because he cancelled it so late. He doesn't have any backup lumber. So this timing is already delayed very, very significantly. And this is what we know kind of from the old days of EPS, Hazuops and x -Lore. They always went for this double slaughterhouse timing. And all the humans were afraid of it and built like 10 towers in each base. Nowadays, though, we don't really see it anymore, but... WZ is trying to go for it here, but so far it's definitely not... Looking too good, especially with a slow start. The Archmage can't contain the base so easily, and you really need that second slaughterhouse. But he's not being given the opportunity to build such build, uh, con construct such construct such a building. That's right. Uh, great positioning here by Yumiko. Great distraction. He doesn't have to lose uh, much here because it's just footmen, right? You don't really need them at this point of the game. Um, well, at least in a, in a situation that WFZ is in right now. So, all he's doing is buying time. He is uh, attacking to tier 2, building more and more towers. I don't think that's even necessary. He's, he's building a shop and, uh, yeah, the blacksmith here to totally secure um, the expansion. Look at the building placement Players of Yumiko. Now I think getting towers is exactly the right thing, though. As long as he does not die to the destroyer push, he basically cannot lose this game anymore. Yeah, that's right. Okay. In the main base we see tech and even more towers, so it's not an option to go for the economy in the main base again. I don't think, uh, think I've ever seen this building placement before. It's like an L, so you completely wall off your wood peasants your and your, your gold peasants as well. I think it's pretty smart. You mean the main base? Yeah. Don't exactly know what you mean, but... <laughs> There's no way that... He could attack the peasants right now. Well, a few gold peasants, but the fiends would always get the damage from the towers. Okay. Alright. Well, he's not facing fiends this game, but still, Frenzy Ghouls is what WZ is gonna throw in the mix here to accompany the destroyer push, but guard towers kind of chew through Frenzy Ghouls. Then again, he wants to use the guard towers on the destroyers. And here we go again. Yumiko, once more, trying to go for some harassment, buying more time. He has reached tier 2 now and has quite a few towers. And is probably gonna get quite a few more. Yeah, he has a sentry ward in the middle of the base of uh, of WFZ. He knows exactly what's going on. So, so far I think it's a marvelous uh, game by Yumi. And I don't think that, that Frenzy Ghouls are the right choice against this mass amount of towers. They do deal a lot of damage. Question is how long they're gonna be alive. A player's force not having a level 3 DK is also a big deal. Yeah, that level 2 he, coil he's not even can close. be the savior. He's not even close. In the meantime, Yumiko on its way to level 4. He is at tier 2. He's building masonry upgrade. The first one. No, the second one, I think. Uh, yeah, the second one. So it's even harder to tear down the towers. Here comes WFZ with full, uh, three full mana destroyers. Oh my god, in his base there's an obsidian statue blocked in. He can't morph the other statue and now he can that he loses a ghoul. But still, alright, four destroyers, quite a bit of damage. He has so far taken down one tower, but the mana is dwindling. He's being harassed in the main at the same time, of course. Mass repair from the peasants, they die one by one, but as long as there's like three towers alive, after that push has ended, they have done their job and they definitely have. It's looking great for Yumiko. Yeah. And yeah, the WZ, nothing is working for him this game and that trapped in obsidian statue is just like, it's the mark of the game. Yeah, the that's right. No, no mana anymore. Maybe he can get to level three, uh, picking off more and more footmen. At least it's a level two lich. Now dispel some more mana on the destroyers, but of course they're gonna take a long time to get these uh, back. Um, to use the orb they have and even tier 3 tech by Yumiko he is so safe right now workshop so most likely knights and gyrocopters uh, the strongest unit composition I feel against destroyers and fiends he's gonna try again with level 3 DK and a mana stone and a grand total of 7 destroyers it's gonna be up against what is this 7 guard towers 2 arcane towers yeah. Uh, might be good enough actually. He has no orb though. He skipped that item 
to get more destroyers more quickly. And he's gain going for two more statues. But then he won't have the supply to morph them all. Hmm, Maybe one should just provide healing. I don't know. What's the supply? 46, okay. Well, he can still morph one or two. That's okay. So one can heal constantly. Constantly. Ah no, he's at 60, so I have no idea what's going on. Thousand gold for Yumiko, maybe the final push of this game. If this uh, fails, then I don't know what WFC can do. One destroyer heavily damaged, dies to the towers, no coil at this point. Second destroyer down as well. That was completely unnecessary. He only killed two, three towers. Still, there are, I don't know, seven more. That's not enough, and workshops are getting are already set up in the main base, mass gyrocopters are coming and they... The towers are gonna buy the time necessary for the gyros to come out. WFZ and just lost 20 food. Yeah, that's four destroyers. Destroyers, very expensive in, uh, in supply. It's gonna get another tower here, but again, quite a few more to go. No, he doesn't kill any peasant. You see no corpses here. Trying to nuke the Lich once again, but no follow-up to that Stormbolt. Only four destroyers in the air, no more mana. Only he four is like slowly chipping through this defense, so he would be able to crack it at some point, but it's just too late. Look inside the main base, we have six gyros, and they come out so quickly. Yeah. He gets the flag cannon upgrade, so area of effect damage against the destroyers. Always a great uh, choice. So two more destroyers, heavily damaged. And the and his hero. mana stone is really, really carrying him right now, keeping those destroyers alive for so long. And only two more guard towers. But again, gyros are soon to join the party. Yeah, and he even needs a, a panda or full mana to st destroyers to, to deal with the gyros. And I don't think he can get either of that choice. Okay, gyros arriving. 1-0 attack upgrade for them. Maybe a hero nuke, and Lich that way he will have the space. Last coil saves the Lich, here come the Gyros. All the destroyers already heavily damaged, and they all find their graves here above the forest. Lich in a terrible position, Bolt will kill him off before he can use the no other invul, and that will be that. Yumiko takes the game fairly convincingly. DubFZ had some good moments here, but his overall timings still seem to be off. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe he did better in in the games before, but that was not really convincing from WFZ. I don't even think he's the best uh, undead in the world so far at this point. Of uh, I, I don't think so either. I, I don't have another one that would come to mind who is very strong lately. But yeah, he does not seem like the dominant force he was last year. Not so, yet, anyways. Yeah. Yumiko advance to the finals. Um, and for WFZ, I think it's already a success to advance to the semi-finals. I think uh, dropping out against Yumiko is not a shame for him. Um, so he's getting better. Honeymoon is over. And now he's back uh, to Warcraft, of course, the preparations for WCA. He still has to qualify. There will be a big qualifier in China. He is qualified for that qualifier. And uh, yeah, there are Two slots, I think, or three for the Chinese players. And Yumiko doesn't have a slot. Um, WFZ doesn't have a slot. And lots of other players that we will see in the upcoming weeks as well. So that's going to be interesting.